Severe MMA here with Paul McVeigh, uh, who just went 19 and 8 with his first win in first win in over two years. Uh, how does it feel? Yeah, it feels good to be getting back into it. Um, Paul was a very, very difficult guy to prepare for because I think you, you saw in that fight, no one actually, no one fights like that except for him. Um, fortunately, I was able to see him, and I got to like uh, prepare for that style, sort of. Uh, made a lot of mistakes, but ultimately, I pushed the pace. And like yeah, yeah, I came away with the victory. Should have been a bit more active, but you know, it's all it's all part of the learning process. Uh, how was the cut down to 128? Uh, it was fine. Um, we've we had a, had a bit of science on our side this time with like you know, distilled water making machines and uh, infrared saunas, which uh, made it the portable infrared saunas in my uh, my hotel room, and that made it a lot easier. Uh, you were on uh, Fighters Wives recently. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed any uh, rising celebrities since? Uh, well, the girls at the local barbers that are at, like, kind of noticed, and the guy in my favorite sandwich shop were like, are you on TV for like two minutes? But the, the vast majority of that was like, oh, your wife's really cool. And you're like comic relief. I'm like, yeah, all right. But yeah, I, she, I was really happy because like, everyone, everyone got to see what, how supportive she is, and like, you know, she's pretty cool. Uh, what's next for Paul McVeigh? Who would you like to fight next? I, I don't really care. <laughs> um, yeah, basically. Anyone, I just enjoy fighting. I enjoy preparing for the fights, and like you know, I was able to do stuff against like guy who's like highly. He was, I think he's a European champion in Greco Roman, and you probably see me going skied a few times and him doing pretty crazy stuff. But ultimately, I was able to prepare for it, and I, I took down like a guy who's a Greco Roman champion from the clinch a couple of times, which is it's good for me. And I got my striking off. I should have done more of it because it was way less tiring than trying to hold him down when he was, had the super bridge from hell. Uh, but yeah, it was I really enjoyed it. It was a good fight. Uh, just talk of a 125 one night tournament. Would you have any interest in that? Um, yeah, yeah, it sounds fun. I've never done a tournament before, um, and I think you need to prepare. Uh, yeah, anything happen in a tournament. N it doesn't necessarily mean the best guy wins. It's uh, that, I think that's part of the, the coolness of it. Um, that's like three fights in one night. Uh, after that fight, no, <laughs> I'm alright. Uh, well, there's rumor that the belt is going to be on the line with oh, that. In that case, yeah, we'll have to do it then, won't I? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm up for it. Um, yep. Yeah. Would you have anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank um, everyone I've ever trained with, and <laughs> which is pretty much a lot of people. Uh, everyone at the Grip House Gym and the Dicky Ninjas. You've seen the guys are all super tight. Like you know, we've I know we've got and we had a win in Bama. We've had two wins on Cage Warriors, so it's not bad for a bunch of maniacs from Glasgow doing their thing. And yeah, the guys who sponsored me like uh, ball bags, underwear, and <laughs> Scottish brand, and um, Elizabeth Band and Massage, and the London Fight Store. Those guys are all cool.